Hey, what's up, you guys? Steampunk Yu-Gi-Oh here with Jack Asian. What's up? I know uh, he doesn't usually join me in things like this, but it's okay. Um, we're doing, or I'm doing a, my second Thinking Out Loud. The first one was with uh, Cosmo BA. I talked about how I wanted to play the deck differently, like how I wanted to play Cosmo Joe and stuff in there. And now I'm kind of doing the same thing with another Cosmo deck this time. It's uh, Cosmo with Paleozoics, or Cosmozoic, as you can see. Um, the whole idea is that the Paleos are good, and what kills Dark Destroyer? Nothing kills Dark Destroyer. Um, and I played this at the uh, recent Knoxville Regional, the 14th of January. Uh, uh, at the yeah. time of recording this, it was two days ago. And I almost... Oh, yeah. Shout out to Knoxville. Good barbecue. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Knoxville. Pretty good regional, too. Yeah. Let me tell you. Uh... <laughs> Um, but if I had take, uh, I already had my invite, so if I had taken this deck a little bit more seriously, I probably would have done, uh, increasingly more, be mo better than I had done, um, I had dropped, uh, at X2, because my, uh, the rest of my friends were X3, including Jack Asian. Sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, here's the list, we play three of this, uh, Dark Planet fellow, or I play three of it. Um, and this, uh, the original idea for this was, uh, Jack Asians and, uh, another friend of ours, we were talking about how the Paleozoics just do good things by themselves, and, like, the, them coming out of the graveyard is just an added feature, mm -hmm. and so we figured that, you know, what deck likes trap cards more than Demise Cosmo? Now, I, uh, strayed away from that a little bit, um, and I'll explain that a little bit later, but, so, we start off with three Dark Planet. Uh, I love Dark Planet. It's my favorite Cosmo monster aside from Dark Destroyer. Uh, beats Metal Foes because uh, <laughs> what, can, what can really deal with it, you know, aside from Ignister? And we have trap cards for that. Um, I play one Eclipser because Eclipser beats Paleos. It beats the the halfway mirror match, you know. Mm -hmm. um, one Dark Destroyer because it's at one. Lol. Uh, Forerunner, Four which is back up Dark Destroyer. Um, Forerunner just to get uh, float into from Dark Destroy to have another untargetable thing. Uh, three Slip Rider to maximize your uh, infinity play. Uh, one Dark Lady. Dark Lady is just good to go into turn one. Um, one Wicked Witch. Uh, she's kind of a buffer between you and battle damage. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, one Farm Girl. Farm Girl did work. She always do work. She the best. Um, one Sword Troopers. I actually never made like a rank three play with him. That was my original intention, but I I just ended up using him to bring back the straw man, the MVP, you know, to do more shenanigans with. And speaking of, we played three or I played three straw man because straw man's so good, so so good. Uh, two maxis, you know, playing paleos have to main deck the maxis so I can exceed with them and then brag about it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then three tin cans round out the monster list. On the spells, we just play, like, well-rounded spells. We play the Allures, three Allures, three Desires, one Terraforming to get to the Cosmo Town. I probably would have liked to have played more than more than, more than than one Terraforming, uh, but, you know, I just decided on one. Uh, three Gold Sarcophagus. Gold Sark, Gold Sark and uh, Straw Man are best buds, and Gold Sark and Cosmo Town are also best buds. <coughs> So, you know, why not? Uh, yep. One emergency teleport because, you know, not fall teleport is great. Three Cosmo Towns because it's broken. Um, three Wabakus in our, uh, as our first trap. This this card with Tin Can is just hilarious. Yeah. You can't kill the Tin Can, so, so your opponent's just like, aww. aww. <laughs> I also Wabakuda a Farm Girl to keep <laughs> her from dying so she could stick around. Um... I only play one Picala or Picaya. Yeah. Um, I honestly don't know if I want to play this at more than one or just take it out altogether. This honestly fought with uh, Morella for the spot. And I I went with this over Morella because A, I like drawing cards. And B, Morella requires me to play other cards. So that's just more space it's taking up by itself. And this is just one slot, whereas Morella will be like two or three slots. Um, I play three, <coughs> oh god, what's this, Oleanoid Oleanoidus or whatever, the MST. This card is fantastic with Cosmo Town. Um, yeah, just just amazing with Cosmo Town. <laughs> Overall, just good work card. Yeah. 
Uh, three reckless greeds because reckless greed is a good card. It's terrible. It's a good card. It's terrible. It's so good. Um, three dynamiscus uh, because karma cut is great. Being able to karma cut like uh, scales and stuff is amazing as well. Uh, three cosmojo. Cosmojo is actually broken. It's super good. Like being uh, especially with the added value of a paleo. Like if you can float down from a a ship. And get a paleo effect off. You get you get a straw man and paleo off one cosmojo. Like you just you just go. There's no stop. It's no stop. It's just go. A uh, one compulse. Uh, I when I was researching paleo decks to see what kind of uh, ratios I wanted to play, a lot of them play or like the majority of them play compulse. And I was like, you know what? I'll try it out. And I ended up really enjoying it. Uh, a guy who was desperate or uh, my the last match I played before my friends and I dropped. I was playing his ABCs, and he was kind of desperate to get uh, the C into the graveyard. So he made Diamond Dyer. I flipped it face down with the Paleo, that uh, the Book of Moon Paleo. And he normal summoned the C, and I compulsed it. And it was just like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and speaking of Book of Moon Paleo, we play three Canadia because it's super good. And then Revival Traps, the two Oasis and three Call. I kind of would have wanted to play uh, three Oasis, but I don't know. I, I really like the idea of three Oasis. For the extra deck, the extra deck really doesn't matter. I didn't really go into it a whole lot. Uh, one blue lobster, never made. Uh, red lobster, I made it once. Um, I made one of them once. Uh, Cyber Dragon Package, made it twice. Or made it once, but then uh, tried to make it again, but I got debarriered. Um, one F0, never made it. Uh, Break Sword, Levier, Grand Pulse. <laughs> never made <laughs> never, it. Never made him. Uh, I almost made Crumble Logos, but I didn't. Uh, never made Toad, but... The, the Toad was the whole reason built the deck. Toad and uh, Infinity seemed pretty good with Dark Destroyer, you know. Um, Centurion made him once uh, lost because of it, because my opponent big-eyed it, and I was like, oh, that makes me sad, because it doesn't target. Uh, Degusto Phoenix, I made it once, I believe. Uh, Herald of the Pure Light, I actually made this twice, just to get Dark Destroyer back into my hand from my graveyard. Um, and then Cat Shark never made it. For the side deck, uh, shout outs to my uh, friend Taisugan. He told me to put a good witch in the sideboard for toads and stuff uh, the night before, and I was like, ah, okay. And uh, that it happened. I it, I summoned it on a Paleozo guy, and he struck it when I tried to use its effect, and then I always assisted it back, which is pretty hilarious. Um, two system downs. Uh, I probably should have played a third one, honestly, if I, if I wanted to be more uh, serial. Same with Twin Twister, I probably should have played a third. But, I mean, it really didn't matter. Uh, Regeki, uh, most, back, most back row targets aside from Strike and stuff. One Regeki. Uh, three Transmigration Prophecy. The idea behind this was uh, me going first. I would want to set Transmigration Prophecy to shuffle back in, you know, a Ronin Toten or ABC Pieces. Or, you know, I guess Mithrilium targets, uh, if they target something, you know, good that I have. Um, or, you know, what have you. But it never really came up. I sighted in, like, two times, uh, but I never drew it. Uh, two Drowning Mirror Force. I never sighted this in. I mean, it's a good card. I would probably side it again or storm, or main deck it with, or main deck it or storming. Uh, two Barrier. Sided it, but I never really saw it. Uh, anti spell. I side this in, but I only saw it after I already landed a dark planet out in Metal Foes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my list, um, and I'm gonna go over some choices that I had made. Uh, let's bring them up. Okay, so these are some things I wanted to play, but I chose not to. Uh, but you know, gonna give you my theory or idea rather. Uh, Len Walker. I didn't. I couldn't really justify a spot for another ship that could be, or a ship that could be targeted. I wanted to float down from uh, Forerunner into not Slip Rider, but you know, I just was like, yeah, I'll just float down into Slip Rider. It'll be okay. I was. I, I really wanted to side a Dogfighter. Uh, the reason for this is uh, Paleos. Paleos can't get over a twenty four hundred defense Dogfighter or a twenty four hundred defense token. And if you manage to summon it, like, turn one, if you summon a pilot, tag it out, get dogfighter in defense mode, and you pass to them, you're almost guaranteed two tokens. Like, one during their standby, standby phase, and then one during yours. Unless they, like, make Toad Cat Shark and attack over it that turn. And by, 
by then you just you float down into a straw man or something. Um, so that was the idea behind that. I ended up not going with it, but I really do want to try it. I wanted to say, uh, I wanted to play a second Dark Lady, but there's just no space, and I was like, eh, she's not too great this format. I wanted to side the ghosts, but um, I I had to make room for like transmigration prophecy and stuff, and there was, you know, I thought I was gonna use the extra deck more than I did, but I, apparently I didn't. So Ghost Reaper should have been uh, should have been in the side. Uh, Ghost Tugger probably should have been as well because of uh, E Teleport and. You know, Metal Foes and uh, Union Hanger, all that good stuff. Uh, Instant Fusion, I just played this ma mainly to get back, like, uh, a Straw Man or something, you know, just for funsies. Um, or make Infinity uh, with Panzer Dragon. But, you know, I decided to go because I thought my extra deck would be, you know, a little bit more useful. Reasoning, Cosmos can play Reasoning, so, you know, uh, I thought about it for a little bit, and then I was like, I'm playing Dark Planet, I kind of don't want to play Reasoning. The big, uh, the big turn from me and Jack Asian was Carta Demise. He liked the Carta Demise engine, but I hated it. I hated not having a hand um, and just like setting all your things and being kind of vulnerable. Uh, now, it's worked out for him, but not so much for me. And, you know, I just chose to my go my own way. That's just because you just like Dark Planet. But I love Dark Planet. Dark Planet's so good, dude. Uh, so, yeah, Carta Demise... I thought about playing it, but uh, not really. it didn't just it didn't test well. The kaiju's I thought about because uh, I mean ABC Dragon Buster's kind of a bad dude, and same with Kieran. But you know, I Dark Destroyer is good enough. <laughs> the other Paleos I decided not to play. I wanted to play this just because I played three potted desires, and I was like, well, in case I uh, desires. Thank you. Uh, my dark, my one of Dark Destroy, I can just put it in the graveyard and be like, "All right, we're doing, we're gonna call the haunt of this." But I decided not to. And of course, Morella, I explained earlier, it was fighting with Picala for the spot, but Picala, Picala got it because it draws cards, and I'd have to make room for the breakthrough skill that Morella would send to the graveyard um, in certain situations. I didn't. If that was the case, did you ever see Denko get played on you? No, Denko never got summoned on me. Um, and if it would have, I probably would have had something to deal with it. Um, because there was not too many times in the tournament that I didn't have, like, a Slip Rider on board or, you know, Dark Destroyer. Like, if they would have summoned Denko, like, Dark Destroyer is just like, so, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> Denko doesn't mean shit to the monsters in my deck. Um, and that's the, that's the good part about this deck. It doesn't lose to Denko or Jinzo. Uh, you can just be like, okay, Dark Destroyer, pop your Jinzo or... You know, wait till they go to their battle phase and pop their Denko, and then they'll just be sad because they still can't kill your Dark Destroyer because everything targets, uh, aside from like lightning, kaiju's, and uh, stuff. Ignister, but trap cards beat those cards. Uh, so emptiness. I didn't play emptiness. Probably because not. because I wanted to have a little bit more control in what I was doing. I didn't want to lock myself under emptiness for any given reason and I didn't want like pilots to die because I had emptiness up I was I thought about siding it but I never really you know never really made the initiative I probably would side it now uh knowing what I know about the deck you know I'd side emptiness and just be like emptiness and paleozo things and that would be nice and then just tribute them for slip riders and stuff but eh it's fine once or uh psalm strike uh the psalm brigade Jack Agent loves these guys, and like I just couldn't justify the room for them because they, you can't chain the Paleos to them, and I'm already paying all the life points in the world, but it's okay. I, I'd try to fit in maybe Warning, but not Strike. Like Strike seems like it would only be good against like you know Metal Foes, Pendulum decks. Um, I mean, yeah, it'd be good against Buster, but I think uh, like a uh, third system down and stuff would be efficient enough. Again, I, I explained about the mirror forces. You know, I try to main deck uh, storming or drowning or whatever I thought best. And the biggest controversy that came to my deck before the regionals was the artifacts. Artifacts. Uh, toward the end of building of completing my deck list, I was like, man, should I play Allura Darkness or should I play the artifact engine? Because you know, Scythe, the mini D barrier and stuff like that. Uh, 
But I ended up going with Allure, and I ended up liking Allure probably more than I would have liked Artifacts. Just because you like drawing cards. Well, yeah, just because I like drawing cards. And I also thought about playing like Starlight Road too, but like I never got Twin Twisted that much, and if I did, it didn't really matter. Like I got Twin Twisted, and they hit a Cosmojo and Compulse, uh, but I had Dark Destroyer and Call of the Haunted on the field, and I was like, okay, I'm fine either way. If he kills the Dark Destroyer, I've called the Haunted, which happened uh, the following turn because he made a Leo and attacked over my Dark Destroyer, so oh. I was fine. Um, but yeah, aside from that, uh, I had a lot of fun with the deck. You should definitely try it out. Um, try out both versions. Try out Card of Demise. Try out whatever you want. But this guy, this guy right here, is the big, the big bad. Like nothing can really answer him if you have trap cards. Yep, <laughs> nothing can answer him either. Well, I mean, nothing can answer Dark Planet either if you have trap cards. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.